Our scientists have confirmed this new variant is between 50 and 70% more transmissible. In England, we must therefore go into a national lockdown. That means the government is once again instructing you to stay at home. Right. Well, that's put a doubtner on some things. Yeah, a lockdown free. This time it's personal. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's the morning after. Um, and for those who aren't in the UK, um, another lockdown has been announced. Uh, people are not allowed to leave their houses except for going for essential supplies, for example. Which is fine. We're used to it. Um, if I'm being honest, it should have come a lot sooner, but hey, it is what it is. It has put some dampener on some things though. Uh, Nick and Dean had some weddings um, through Team Reflector and obviously I'd be providing gimbal support and things for that. Obviously weddings aren't really my passion, I'm more into filmmaking and, and drones and stuff, but I'm obviously gonna do a brilliant job for them. But of course they're not gonna go ahead, I'm guessing. Um, my kid has support groups that they go to um, at the weekends and obviously uh, they're not going to be on for obvious reasons. And yeah, it doesn't really seem like this lockdown's going to end anytime soon. Um, they're giving a wishy-washy thing in February half term, which is sort of the third week of, of February. I think it's going to be longer around here. I'm, we are based here in Nottingham, um, which has some of the highest rates, unfortunately. And I don't think no, they're going to go away anytime soon. So... You know, it is what it is. Um, my own uh, mental health is okay. Um, been relatively stable these uh, these last few weeks. Um, mostly because my wife's been working from home. You know, it's been Christmas and things, so we've been trying to do things as normally as possible. So, so I'm going to try something different. Um, I'm going to daily vlog. I might not upload a video every day, but it may be like one or two days in one video, something like that. It's going to be a challenge because we're literally locked down and can't really do much. So to make that entertaining for you, I was I was worried about it. And, and, and my wife said something very thoughtful in that maybe the mundality of it and the you know, being in the same place all the time, maybe that is the vlog, maybe you're showing people that, they're, you know, we're all going through the same kind of thing. So she makes a damn good point. I know there's a reason I married her. And, you know. So yeah, we're, I'm going to daily vlog. Um, some things might be to do with Team Reflector, some things might be to do with the drone side of things. There's not really much we can do with that because obviously uh, we you, you can't really fly unless it's an emergency. So if we get any search and rescue shouts, I'll I'll bring you along. I doubt we'll get any because people can't leave the house, so they can't get themselves into trouble. Um, but I think I'm going to use the opportunity mostly to sort of reassess things. I, it, I'm going to be quite busy um, with bits and bobs. Now I'm relying on third parties to. In fact, I'll show you. Hang on. Oh, step into my area. <laughs> Welcome to my planning area. It's a, it's a big ghetto, but hey, this is where I come up with ideas for the business and things. Um, yeah, so obviously we've got priority one. And my handwriting is terrible. I might even put it on as, uh, I might even going to put it on as text so you can read it better. But priority one, of course, is homeschooling. Um, it's, it is the way of the world at the moment. It is what it is. So we've got to make sure that the kids are sorted out, both mine and Nick's and Dean's and everyone's sorted out. Then we come to the business side of things. So the van. Now, I had plans for the van and I've been putting them off because well basically I'm going to convert it into um, 
it's going to have drawers and things for putting equipment in obviously there'll be um, but then there'll be like removable sections that you can so you put your camera equipment in and it's locked and then you can slot them in slot in the relevant lock box of whatever equipment you need for that job and they'll be on big pull out there'll be big pull out drawers that turn into like workstations and things like that obviously they need to be all removable and lockable so that we're not leaving things in vehicles overnight and that kind of a thing we've got that and then i was also going to um, turn the back of it um, into um, like a mini camper uh, for when we're shooting on set um, you know in the middle of a field somewhere um, I can sleep in the car basically um, you know just on the off chance there but also I can if we go for hikes and things up to the top of a mountain somewhere in Scotland or whatever you got somewhere to have a rest so the problem with this idea though is um, Covid wood prices now of all things well it's not of all things I suppose it's a supply and demand issue isn't it wood prices have tripled if not quadrupled depending on the types of wood that you want to use now for me that's not normally an issue because we build not buy so um, I've been up as you know I, I make arcade machines for, for a laugh every now and again and uh, we make them out of upcycled wood that we find in skips and uh, you know people who have shop front boards you know when they board them up and we use that wood and turn them into arcade machines now I've got some stock of that but obviously it's old wood or pallet wood or whatever that's just going to stink and be meh in the car so i want to get some nice clean new plywood uh, like the stuff we've got on the table just here this is nice thick ply but a uh, lot of that so it's nice and fresh um but of course plywood there's a supply and demand issue everyone's locked down so they're all there's hobbyists are wanting to do it and then builders are, are, are working more and more um, I know some builders and they've never been as never been busier, which means that the prices have gone whoosh, right up and that's worldwide. I've got some friends in America who said that it's the same thing over there, Canada, same thing over there. So this, I think, might have to go on hold for, for a while, um, but we'll see. We're going to look into it and we're going to see where we go with that. Which leads us on to the shed itself, the, the place you are in right now, the vlogging shed, um, as I call it. Um, well, I call it a super shed, although the lads, uh, Nick and Dean, always laugh at me when I say that because it's actually, it's like 20, it's 20 foot that way and 10 foot that, sort of 10, 15 foot that way. So it's, um, it's not, it's not super by any means, but you know, it's, it's mine and we've spent we did a lot of investment in lockdown number one last year in um putting winter insulation into this which is why i'm actually in here now um because this is at the bottom of this is at the bottom of our plot um for team reflector and it runs off solar panels and things like that so I want to put some more permanent solar panels in because at the moment we're using those sort of mobile phone charge type things which you know when you don't use the shed that often because we're out on set or something it's not an issue but I want to be able to work in here and make vlogs in here and daily vlogs and that kind of a thing so I want to look at the power um, issue but I still want it to be off grid um, or what combining with the van thing having uh, one of these large you can get these really large um where's my hand there it is hi there's my hand so you can get these like really large massive ba like batteries um yes we can do you maybe use a camping battery so it's either solar panel and camping battery or we get these large portable batteries that have um all the regulators and have been built in with plugs on the front and we use that for the drones and for the van and it's removable out of the van and you put it in and you slot it in here somewhere and it powers up the shed in here um that's the idea so we've got to look at that we've also got to sort out that's a bulb honest <laughs> the the lighting situation in here um i'm using some film lights at the moment but they they're big they're cumbersome we have partnered with spiffy gear last year um they sent us a review sample of their some of their lights um, Nick and Dean have those in their photography studio, so I'm not able to use those. 
they've split them between them like but i'm going to need to have a word with spiffy gear to see what kind of products we can bo like borrow just to see sort of experiment with the lighting in here i have it so we just come in plonk the the battery in or whatever it is i'm going to be using and all the lights come on and we can just press record bye bye start start doing our vlogs in here i've got some ideas but i want to run it through those guys so i've got to contact these guys hopefully they're they're working remotely and they're going to answer emails but big shout out to spiffy gear there's a link in the description below um, if you want to check them out um, and if you do buy something through that link no extra cost to you but we get a bit of a kickback so uh, that that would really help thank you um so spiffy gears as that's another one once we sort the lighting situation out while doing all these things we've also got to um got to sort out mc mubit um Mubi, mc mubit has been doing going from strength to strength um we just went got partnered by twitch like and apparently it's a record one of the records for like the fastest partnerships which is just crazy um now live streaming isn't wasn't really my thing i always said i wouldn't do it because of um my speech issues with my mental health now you probably noticed there's a lot of cuts um, jump cuts and things in this vlog because you know my speech goes and i have to think about what i'm going to say say it a few times in my head and then say it out loud and then it comes out like one just happened just then because <laughs> I, I went blank so we always said I want live stream, but they've been brilliant. And the people who have been watching me when I have sort of gone quiet and I couldn't get the words out, they, they were really supportive of it. And they actually have commented, you know, after the fact saying that it's good that, you know, raising awareness of, of mental health um, problems, you know, with, with mine sort of like a dementia style thing whilst playing something fun like Minecraft. So. I'm going to have to keep concentrating on this and keep pushing this one. So go and sub to MC Mubit on uh, YouTube and Twitch MC Mubit and Facebook slash MC Mubit, whichever is your preferred one. If you like that kind of thing, um, even if you don't like Minecraft, I do talk about my life and what we're doing with Team Reflector and things. So maybe it'll be interest interesting to you. And then amongst all that, we have the big one the very big one the secret project that i can't really say loads about just yet contracts blah 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 um suffice to say that our influence is growing daily and quickly um the people that want to be involved in team reflects and the people who work alongside us and things are all you know top grade type people and um yeah there there's a thing here what i want from you guys is an operation name that i can t so i can refer to when i'm doing these vlogs so like you know operation aqua thunder you know <laughs> operation operation buyback i don't know you, you know what i mean come up with a fun funny name that's synonymous with with the three of us and you know fun and movie and all that kind of stuff or something to do with cows or something like that you know operation barnstorm i don't know and i will call it that and whoever picks it out i will think of a way to pay you back if we get some review samples in i'll send them out to you or something like that i don't know but leave that part with me but yeah that this this is going to be the thing i vlog about the most um this year and it was what the whole series of vlogs this year was going to be about but of course Boris has locked us all down which means it's going to be probably 2021 before we even start doing what I was planning for us to do it's going to involve a lot of things a lot of emails to a lot of people government officials and and local business owners and stuff like that um it's big it's awesome and it's very community centric it's very at least i think it's it's very it, it'll give back to the community both the you know the filmmaker community the youtubing community and just the local community around where we're going to be that's as much as i can really say at the moment and that is whoo 
it's long been a gestating dream of, of ours for a while. It's been a long gestating dream of mine for years, but it's scary as hell. <laughs> it's, and obviously considering I'm still recovering from my brain damage and all that, it, it's even scarier. And then, you know, there's going to be an economic market crash and is because of the whole COVID thing. And is so is it the right time to be looking at it? <sighs> Honestly, right now, I don't know. Um, we need to do the maths and things to make sure that they still add up. But maybe it's it's never been a writer time because we, we we're quite limited with what we can do in terms of you know going on film sets and things um because you have to have reduced scales and crew and all that kind of thing so it would give us more time to actually plow into this operation this project um and get it quite a lot further ahead in terms of like the logistical you know planning type stuff than we would do if we were you know working on indie films and things as well as doing YouTube, as well as me doing doing Minecraft, uh, professional Minecraft videos and as well, blah, 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 you know? So I think at least we can get to like stage two of this process and there's, there's five stages to it. I think we can get to stage two of this process without really spending a penny. And the, the only cost of the business is time. So yeah. It's something I want to do and it's something I want to reveal to you guys as I go along. But obviously, you know, you've got to wait on contracts coming from third parties and things like that. And once they're in place, we decide what we can, can and can't talk about and blah, 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 you know, non-disclosure agreements, all that kind of stuff. But just trust me, you'll love it and it'll warm your cockles and it'll be exciting and it'll be really interesting because maybe that you guys are out there and you've had a long gestating dream that you wanted to follow maybe not even related to filmmaking you know maybe it will give you you know you've got this sort of person with, with sort of relearning how to talk again and relearning everyone's names and stuff and you know all that that comes with with have, having the you know the head damage and and yeah, I'm still trying. So maybe that's going to inspire you guys to go, you know what, I've always wanted to do Blair. Just do it, you know? Um, come along for the journey. Vlog about it like I'm going to do, you know? But yeah, hopefully... It's quite a talky vlog. Um, I don't really know what these vlogs are going to look like. I'm going to try and make them interesting each time, but... And I don't expect loads of people to be watching it because they'll be all watching the big YouTubers and things. But hopefully you do come back to your friends about it if you want. And hopefully you're all feeling OK, you know, whether it's you or your family, your loved ones or anything. I really genuinely hope you're all right. If you're not, reach out to me on Facebook or whatever and you can. And, you know, we can have a discussion if you like. That's fine. Um, I'm going to put some links, if I remember, to various sort of mental health forums on, on say, Facebook, because they're, they're quite accessible. You know, just then they're just people who have got diagnoses like mine and, and maybe like yours, or maybe you're feeling bad and you, and you wanna sort of ask for advice and from people who've gone through it, that kind of a thing. I'm gonna put the links in there as well. So, and they're all, they're not toxic, they're nice. So, you know, join up to them maybe. And maybe, you know, maybe I'll see you in there and I can chat with you as well in, the, in those things. But until the next video, I've been Moobit. You've been Awesome Source. Stay safe. I'll see you, see you later. ta -ra. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your f***ing hands! I like to move it, move it, move it.